Welcome to So'o Storytime. Today I'm really excited to read a book for you based on the song Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. This book is called Every Little Thing. This book has been adapted by Sadella Marley and illustrated by Vanessa Brantley Newton. I look forward to reading this book with you all today. Now let's get ready for story time. Every Little Thing. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds pitch by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies pure and true, saying this is my message to you. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be all right. Please don't laugh at my singing. <laughs> Run to the playground, laugh with my friends and play. Three little birds perch on the swing set. Whistling these words, these harmonies sweet in the air. Sometimes you just need to show you care. And you say, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. That's true. Help in the kitchen, stirring up delicious fun. Three little birds fly by my window chirping out loud. They're reminding us each day, everyone can make a mistake, they say. And they say, don't worry about a thing. Every little thing's gonna be all right. That's true. Lie down this evening, wave to the setting sun. Three little birds nest in the treetops, humming soft rhymes and lullabies. Dreams to keep, whisper, settle now, sweet child, and sleep. Because don't worry about a thing. Every little thing is going to be all right. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds pitch by my doorstep, singing sweet songs of melodies, pure and true, saying this is my message to you. Don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing is gonna be all right. Very true. Uh, thank you so much for reading and singing this book with me today. I look forward to reading more books with you all. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. And don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be all right. Welcome to Soto Storytime. Today we're going to be reading a book called I Lost My Sock, A Matching Mystery by PJ Roberts, illustrated by Elio. I hope you enjoy this book. Now let's get ready for story time. I Lost My Sock. I lost my sock, said Fox. What does it look like, asked Fox. It looks just like this, said Fox. Is this your sock, asked Ox. His sock is blue. This sock is not blue. You think it matches? This is not my sock, said Fox. My sock is blue. How about this, asked Ox. No, said Fox, my sock has dots. Then this must be your sock, said Ox. No, said Fox, those dots are small. The dots on my sock are big. I found your sock, saying Ox. My sock is not in this box, said Fox, but I see something with big round dots, said Ox. That is a rock, said Fox. Your sock must be in here, said Ox. Oh my gosh, look at all those socks. So many socks, cried Fox. Do you see one that matches mine? Nope, said Ox. I don't see your sock anywhere. Guess it's time to go. Ox, shouted Fox. You found my sock. Where, where, asked Ox. 
It's on your head, said Fox. This, said Ox, this is my brand new hat. I just found it this morning. Do you like it? That is not a hat, said Fox. That is a blue sock with big round dots. That is my sock. This is a hat, said Ox. This little hole fits my head perfectly. That little hole, said Fox, is for my little leg. And the top of the hat is a perfect place to put things, said Ox. But that's the bottom of my sock, said Fox. That's where I put my foot. It's where I put my oranges, said Ox. Why don't you put your oranges in your pockets, asked Fox. Because I'm not wearing pants, said Ox. <laughs> He's not wearing pants. Ox, said Fox, you are one of a kind. You can have my blue socks with big round dots. Thank you, Fox, said Ox. They are my most favorite things. Now, said Fox, have you seen my shoe? Uh-oh. The end. Welcome to Solo Storytime. Today we're going to be reading a book called If My Mom Were a Bird by Jetta Robard. I hope you enjoy this book. Now let's get ready for story time. If My Mom Were a Bird. If my mom were a bird, she would be tall and graceful. What type of a bird do you think is tall and graceful? Let's find out. A swan. If my mom were a bird, she would be a funny, sneaky. Hmm. What kind of birds are funny and sneaky? A parrot. Oh, pretty. How many parrots are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parrots. If my mom were a bird, she would surely be a watchful, hmm, a watchful hawk. That's because they have great eyes and can see anything. If my mom were a bird, she would be a busy, energetic, hmm, what type of bird is busy and energetic? A woodpecker. If my mom were a bird, she would be a squawky, noisy. Hmm, what is squawky and noisy? Let's find out. A canary. <laughs> Look at them all. It's because canaries like to sing. If my mom were a bird, she would be a super speedy ostrich. Look at, because ostriches can run fast. If my mom were a bird, she would be a curious, what kind of bird is curious? Blue jay. If my mom were a bird, she would be a happy chicken because she's always warm and cuddly. The end. Welcome to Soto Story Time. Today we're going to be reading a book called It's Not Easy Being a Bunny. This book is by Marilyn Sadler, illustrated by Roger Bolin. I hope you enjoy this book. Now let's get ready for story time. It's not easy being a bunny. This looks like a fun book. His mother made him eat cooked carrots every day. He had far too many brothers and sisters and his Ears were very big, big ears. One day, PJ decided to leave home. I don't want to be a bunny anymore, said PJ. I want to be a bear. And PJ went to live with the bears. But when the bears went to sleep for the winter, P 
PJ could not sleep at all. Living with the bears was not very exciting. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear. I want to be a bird. And PJ went to live with the birds. PJ liked being a bird until he tried to fly. Uh oh. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird. I want to be a. Hmm. What do you think PJ wants to be now? Beaver! And PJ went to live with the beavers. The beavers liked to work very hard. PJ did not like to work at all. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver. I want to be a hmm. Oops, let's get the page. Pig. And PJ went to live with the pigs. But the only thing the pigs liked to do was sit in the mud. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig. I want to be a moose. And PJ went to live with the moose. But PJ could not make good moose calls. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose. I want to be a Hmm, I wonder what he wants to be now. Possum! And PJ went to live with the possums. The possums liked to hang upside down, but hanging upside down gave PJ a headache. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear, or a bird, or a beaver, or a pig, or a moose, or a possum. I want to be a... Skunk. That might be a little bit smelly. And PJ went to live with the skunks. Hmm, how do you think that's going to turn out? It did not take PJ very long to find out that he did not like living with the skunks. Look at him. Scrunching up his nose because they stink. So PJ said, I don't want to be a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or most of all a skunk. What I really want to be is a hmm, bunny. So PJ hurried home. The funny bunnies were very happy to see him. PJ was very happy to see them. That night PJ ate all of his cooked carrots and played with every one of his brothers and sisters. He was so happy to be a bunny again that he did not care that his ears were very big. At least everyone can see that I am a bunny, PJ said, and not a bear or a bird or a beaver or a pig or a moose or a possum or a skunk. The end. Thank you for reading It's Not Easy Being a Bunny with me. Please subscribe so you don't miss any other stories. Bye. Welcome to Soto Storytime. Today we're going to be reading a book called The Grinny Granny Donkey. This book is written by Craig Smith, illustrated by Katz Cowley. I look forward to reading this book with you today. Now let's get ready for story time. The Grinny Granny Donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She was a clunky donkey. Aww. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it. She was a donkey, drinky, clunky donkey. 
There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, and fall asleep in the afternoon sun. She was a zonky, dunky, drinky, clunky donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, then go for walks with her jewelry on. She was a clinky, clanky, zonky, dunky, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, and she always dressed smartly. She was a swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, dunky, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, and she played her banjo to relax. She was a plunky, plinky, swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, dunky, drinky, clunky, donkey. <laughs> there was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. <laughs> but her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, and play her banjo to relax. But if she hadn't had a visit from her family in a while, she would sometimes get grumpy and cranky. She was a granky, plunky, plinky, swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, dunky, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, play her banjo to relax, and sometimes she got crumpy and cranky. But when her son, Wonky, turned up with her cute granddaughter, Dinky, that granky granny donkey got so many cuddles and kisses that she couldn't get the smile off her face for weeks. She was a grinny granny, plunky plinky, swanky, clinky clanky zonky, dunky drinky, clunky donkey. There was a greeny granny donkey who lived on the heath. She smiled so much you could see her false teeth. Hee-haw! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for reading The Grinny Granny Donkey with me. That was such a fun story. I look forward to reading more stories with you all, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you know when I'm going to read my next story. Have an amazing, amazing day.